I'm 16 in the 10th grade. Back where it all started, Kyla Reschke. You're getting ready to take your temperature. Has been coming here to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital nearly all his life. We went through nine different pediatricians in nine months. Mom Sarah knew something was wrong with her baby's eyes just a few days after he was born. If you look just right, you could see a little bit of white. That white, visible, is a tumor of the retina, allowed to grow undetected until Kyler's mom finally found the right doctor. And he looked at Kyler's eyes, and he walked right out. And I thought I was right. There's something wrong with my baby. At just nine months old, it was retinoblastoma, a disease easily seen in pictures because it's the tumor that deflects the camera's flash. And they were going to take both of our baby's eyes out and that he had six months to live. But that's not the way things turned out. Look to your left, to your right. I'm in Boy Scouts. I'm working on my Eagle Scout project. Fast, 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 fast. No one else even wanted to look at him, and they would have let him die. Doctors fought and tried to save his sight, but the tumors were just too big. Now I can basically see lights and shapes. I can remember some colors. But patients can develop a secondary cancer, usually in adulthood, though. Kyler's came early cancer of the mouth at the age of eight. His soft palate would have to be removed. They told me I needed to talk to Kyler and find out what his final wishes were. He said, well, Mom, they have learned all about different kinds of cancer from me while I was alive. They might as well learn from me when I'm dead, so could we donate my body to science? That was nearly eight years ago. Here's the pen. Kyler still comes to St. Jude for annual checkups, a hospital he calls his favorite place on earth. Woo, good job. Good. So I'm lucky to still be alive, but the, that's mostly because of the people working here.